Uh, hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done like a vlog thing, but on March 31st, it will be four years that I've been on YouTube. Um, on my about, I know it says I've been since 2012. I was just using this account, but I didn't start uploading videos. No, March 31st, sorry, my brain's not awake yet. I have been uploading for four years and <laughs> it took me by surprise. I hadn't thought that I had been doing it this long. Um, and it's nuts that I started here doing this, this trailer and now like, whoops, that's most popular. That's not what I want. My newest one, like I'm doing VR now and like I'm drawing and it's so nuts just how far I've come. Um, like compared to other channels, I'm, I'm probably considered like I'm failing, but YouTube has been such a journey for me. It's been great talking to people. Um, cause I'm such, I, I consider myself to be a loner. It's not really by choice though. It's more of like the aspects of society. I don't understand. It's not something I was really taught because like when I started being bullied in school, I isolated myself. So like things that would normally have been taught by like a friend in like a social setting, I never was taught any of that. So, like, I hear people that, like, meet online and, like, they're best friends now and they actually, like, have met in person now or they are in a relationship now. It's like, that blows my mind. I don't understand how you do that. How do you start a conversation with someone just online? I'm always like, oh, man, that person seems cool. But I'm like, I don't ever, like, do anything about it. So, like, that aspect's weird. But YouTube has been such a cool journey because I really feel like it's built up my confidence and it's helped me kind of learn things I guess like like it got me into drawing and it taught me how like like looking at like animation and stuff and now it's led me into being interested in actually making games um so like we just finished well I just finished this Jurassic World not all of them are up obviously they're coming out later this week but I just finished it, and I got to talking about how I wish there was a certain Jurassic World game, how uh, or a dinosaur game, and how I didn't think there's a lot of good dinosaur games because a lot of them are like shooting or hunting or doing something that aspect. And it, the more I thought about it, especially when I was editing the videos, so the more I'm like, why don't I make that video game? And so it's kind of interesting now because now I'm, I was already starting to learn, like I was learning Blender, I'm learning how to create characters. I don't know if I have a say to show you, but like I made a robot. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. Where's my blender file? Like I made this robot and like it's not rigged or anything, but like I figured out how to do the multicolor and how to like make the shape and stuff. And so like it's really cool. The stuff I'm learning, I'm learning like, like it started out with this, just a, just a block. And then I went in and I started to learn, like, how to do it. And it was, it's really cool. And it's really taking me in the direction I never saw myself going. Um, and so, like, yeah, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't get a lot of comments or view anything like that. So, like, by YouTube standards, I'm probably failing. But by my standards, I think I'm doing pretty good. Because not only has YouTube led me into doing, like, recording and gaming and drawing and all the stuff that I'm interested in, like... I drew this. This this is so freaking cool. Well, not all of it, like, obviously that, but, like, but, like, this part here. I drew that. And then it led me into doing this. Like, this is my store. I don't know, like, I'm horrible at promoting myself. But this is my store now. And it's it has all this, these drawings that I have done and these characters that I've created. You got Drifter Thorn. You got my little redhead, which <laughs> I just think of as me. You have, um... I don't know if Captain Chicken's on here, but you got Captain Chicken, and you got all this stuff now, and dragons, and cats, and it's just been so fun. I don't know if I ever showed you guys any of these, but it's just been so fun. This is, like, my favorite mug. I also have this one here. Um, so I don't do the red anymore because the company that was doing it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, the paint... Is coming off there's like that white smudge there so it didn't print really well so I went with a different printer um, company so and they didn't do this red tint but it's still the same like 
that's my character there on this mug. And, like, I, I think that's so cool. That's never something I thought I could do or that I would do. But the, it's my graphs on here. And I've gotten nine cells. And I've gotten five stars. And it's, like, it's super exciting and cool. So, like, YouTube has been this whole friggin' journey. But also, I have to point this out. My most popular are still these tickling videos. I find that so funny. And I also wish she would have done more or the developer would have done more. Also, it's not even... Oh, the first one's down here. But, like, this was specifically... I think it's just because it was the tickling. And I'm like, this is so cool. And, like, this VR is super popular. And I'm like, ah, oh, and Hellblade. I'm so excited to see Hellblade up there. And, like, this one was super fun. And I, I, I literally broke that game. And there's a couple shorts that are making it up there. And, like... It's so cool to see what you guys are really liking, and, like, I want to now make a game. I want to make a dinosaur game. Like, I have this idea in my head, and I'm so excited to see if I can do it. Like, it's not going to be a professional thing, but it'd be really cool to see where I can go. But, anyways, I thought i do a little bit of celebrating on, there's no way to show you four years, but four years of YouTube on his channel. I feel like it's grown a lot, and I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to see, like, I don't know if I'll ever leave 78. I've been 78 for a long time, this channel. Um, so I, I don't know, maybe I'll stay 78, maybe I'll just be by the over. I don't, like, I would like to see me hit 100 by the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen because it's really, like, outside of my control because I can't control what you guys do, but it's just, you guys mean a lot to me, so... I just wanted to celebrate four years doing this and it has led to so much stuff and I'm so excited to see where it goes. I've learned so much about myself. I learned so much more about like the outside world of my room and doing my job in just a little city I live in. And yeah, I'm just excited to see where this goes. I'm excited to see if I can't do a game. Um, like I said, right now I'm just learning Blender and I'm just learning how to create characters. So making a game is to me feels like it's far off, but I don't know. I kind of have this idea in my head and I kind of have a couple scenes and knowing me, it's going to get stuck in there and like eventually I'm just going to have to bring it out because I don't know, like why not? You know, if I want this type of game, why not see if I can't make it? I would love to do it like in a VR type of thing, which I'm sure is way harder than trying to make just like a PC version, but yeah, I am. Um, it's not. A, this isn't a super long video. I don't really have any way to celebrate. I just kind of wanted to talk about the channel a little bit in my Etsy store. If you guys want to go over there and just, just you can even just favorite some stuff. You don't have to buy anything, but I don't know. I think I got some cool stuff here. I've like I've I'm trying to get um like some more LGBTQ plus stuff because like some of the stuff that's like on Etsy um especially in that category they're all kind of the same and kind of just like rainbows and all that so I'm trying not to go too much into rainbows although obviously I have but like I don't know I'm just trying to do some other stuff and like like yeah I like I always knew I was gay and being on a channel, being able to play those games without fear has been amazing and kind of leaning into being non-binary. I haven't really talked a lot about that because I'm still trying to figure it out, but I don't know. This feels like a safe space where I can try that out. So four years on YouTube blew my mind. How about you guys? Um, but yeah, if uh, there's anything you're curious about or maybe anything you'd like to see on the channel, definitely let me know. I always look forward to your guys' comments. I always... You guys really do brighten my day. I don't get comments a lot, but when I do, you guys are definitely, have been very nice, and I really look forward to seeing where else this channel leads. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.